Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis, and today I am bringing another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video over here onto the Carnage Clan channel. Now today guys, we're going to be watching is hopefully the first of many unique gameplays you're going to be seeing over here on Carnage throughout the life cycle of Infinite Warfare. The gameplay in the background right now is a switch weapon every kill deatomizer strike by Carnage Dismo. He's playing Defender here on the map Frost, switching in between I believe the NV4 Fallout and the FHR Havoc. Just an absolutely insane gameplay that when I try to think back to the last unique gameplay that I commentated over over here on Carnage that was a switch weapon every kill gameplay I believe it was in Black Ops 3 and that was actually I think at least three or four months into the actual game itself being released so the fact that Dismo manages to get an intense gameplay like this in the beta for Infinite Warfare is just phenomenal it really goes to show how comfortable he is not only with this game but with the weapons in it as well so with that said guys hopefully you all will go ahead and enjoy today's gameplay if you guys do, a like rating would be very much appreciated. 1,000 likes is going to be our like goal for today. This gameplay literally blew my mind when I first saw it. When Dismo actually, I believe he was in a party with me on PS4 when he mentioned to me that he got this gameplay, my mind was blown. And then when I actually got the chance to watch it here, I really understood even more how incredibly stressful it would be to get this gameplay. You'll see at multiple points when he goes to jump around a corner, he has to not only kill one person, but two. So he has to get his shots all on one person and continue to sort of evade the enemy shots in the the air, swap to his other weapon, and then kill the other guy that's shooting at him. Just a really adrenaline pumping, incredibly fun gameplay to watch that I know you guys will love. And with that said as well, guys, make sure you go ahead and check out Dismo's channel as well. I don't even know how many de-atomizer strikes this guy managed to get in the Infinite Warfare beta, but it is a ton, and it's definitely going to be enough to last him all throughout sort of this dry spell that we have from the end of the IW beta all the way up until the actual release of the game on November 4th. So if you're subscribed to his channel, you'll be seeing not only amazing gameplays, but I'm sure sort of tips and tricks, how-to videos, just some really good tips and tricks on how to get deatomizer strikes. He's a really good player, definitely someone you'll want to watch out for in Infinite Warfare. And make sure you guys also come and check out my channel as well if you do enjoy the commentary. I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers and every little piece of support does, of course, as always, mean the world to me. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into today's commentary topic. So before we get into talking about this gameplay, I want to go ahead and ask you guys, those of you who are fans of The Walking Dead, what you thought of the Season 7 premiere. Now, I'm not going to give anything away here in this commentary, but I just want to know your opinions. The episode literally blew my mind. All the little twists and turns, the things that we weren't expecting, and just the overall sadness and just, I can't even say sadness and happiness because it was just all sad in my opinion. So I want to know what you think about it down there in the comment section below. And if you're hearing this right now and you're thinking, wait a minute, I don't watch The Walking Dead. Well, get your butt up and go watch the very first episode of season one and you'll be instantly hooked. I'm telling you, it's a phenomenal show. It does get boring in the middle of some seasons, but it's totally worth it sticking through. The storyline for this show is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. It's definitely my favorite show to watch as of right now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what season seven has to hold. But with that out of the way guys let's jump right into the gameplay here because i know there are a lot of you guys that are probably annoyed with me right now that we aren't talking about the gameplay and then we're talking about something completely different so in my opinion what makes this gameplay incredibly cool is not only is it the fact that it's a switch weapon every kill de atomizer but the fact that he's playing on the map frost now the reason i find that to be interesting is because frost unlike other maps like throwback or percent is very close quarters there are a lot of small rooms a lot of tight corners where enemies can easily jump around and kill you especially get on head glitches and kill you as well and the fact that Dismo manages to get it on this map honestly just makes it that much more intense in my opinion than just the gameplay itself if that makes any sense. The fact that it's on Frost makes it that much better. And the other thing that I thought was really fascinating when watching this gameplay is usually when you try to go for unique nuclear gameplays when I've watched these in the past when I've commentated over them, the person who's getting the gameplay tries to play a little bit slower than they usually do. They want to play a little bit conservative. They want to make sure they can actually stay on that streak and guarantee themselves to get this gameplay. But the way Dismo plays this is not like he's trying to play passive at all. He's playing this incredibly aggressive and honestly he nails it every single gunfight he gets into which literally just goes to show like I was saying earlier how comfortable he is with these weapons and how comfortable he is with a game that's only in the beta stage right now guys. This is somebody who's going to be tearing through infinite warfare. I literally can't even imagine the stuff he's going to be able to do when the game is actually released if he's doing stuff like this right now. 
just think about it. If he's getting a switch weapon every kill de-atomizer in, what is this, probably like the sixth day the beta has actually been released to the public, it's just gonna, sh like, my, I, I don't even, I have no words. I literally have no words for what this man is gonna do in Infinite Warfare. But I wanna know from you guys down in the comment section below, my one question for you guys here in this video is, what is your favorite nuclear variant weapon to use within Infinite Warfare? For me personally, I love to use the NV4 Fallout. It's a very accurate weapon. It reminds me a lot of the AC from Modern Warfare 3 and just the fact that it's so accurate makes me feel very comfortable with it as opposed to a weapon like the FHR where even though it is an SMG and I'm a very rush happy player when using the FHR I find that I can't nail my shots all the time and I feel that I run out of ammo incredibly quickly but with the recent addition of scavenger obviously that didn't really become an issue sort of towards the end of this beta cycle but let me know what you guys think about it down there in the comment section below hopefully you all did go ahead and enjoy today's video if you guys did a like rating would be very much appreciated 1000 likes is our like goal today like I said be sure to go ahead and comment down below hashtag deatomizer if you watched it to this point in the video and anyways guys thank you all so very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one until next time everybody keep gaming and as always stay cool adios